unfortunately, you have one of probably the most documented oh, no. cases of. I didn't bring it up. He did, bro. Someone take. He did. Oh him, no. So him. Well, it, you know, it, we don't have to talk about it, but it's <laughs> no, just we a, no, we can talk about it. It's just a tough situation when the one person or or group of people that you would expect not to take advantage of you do so. Right. right? And right. so you're, what we're talking about for the thank you. kids at home, <laughs> I put my brother in prison because my brother worked. Uh, with me at my company, uh, and he was uh, he was nefarious. He was taking, and so um, I did what anybody should do when someone steals from you, which is you put him in jail. Is he still in jail? No, no. He he served all his time, and now he, I don't know. I don't even know where he is. Just he he stole twelve million dollars from you uh, <clears throat> on on the low end. It's a lot of money. There's yeah. there's actually in I hope this is not sense. There's a, there's you like, found some. No, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna there, take a guess. I was hoping he was gonna bring a, a fucking <laughs> yeah. is it a, a Pulp Fiction Bible? briefcase. Yeah, I have is it a some here. No, we get a surprise for you, man. <laughs> yeah. Here we brought, it is. We brought your brother. What the? F no. <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> There's a, there was like an inside like joke. They're like, dude, he's so rich. He did not know that $12 million was missing. And I was like, how the fuck are you that loaded? Yeah, bro? How, how did you not notice? <laughs> he's fucking loaded, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I, he, honestly, it's kind of it's kind of true because I was still living a certain lifestyle. <laughs> it's kind of true. And I did, and I I'm look, rich. I didn't really, I wasn't really, I wasn't looking and also to put it with a little bit of a fucking score under it. Like, guys, I fuck, I'm a welfare kid out of Boston, Massachusetts. Food stamps, uh, uh, free lunch tickets. The fact that I was making any kind of living, let alone where I had you know, gotten to, it was like, I, I didn't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never cared about the fucking money so much. I put everything, I put it into this special. I put everything back into work and yeah, I'd like take a little piece off and I'll get myself a nice fucking Jeep or something. But the reality is <laughs> I wasn't looking because I just, I have love of the game, man. I had to learn to be a businessman, obviously, from that. And nobody has power of attorney. Another thing you kids want to look into. But the reality is, it it was a it was it it was the worst betrayal I'll ever experience in my life, and it was gut wrenching. And I'd never been sadder in my entire life. Oh man! But from that, and where I took my life and industry, if I could go back, I would not change a single thing mm. because it made me who I am today. I love that. Yeah. Are you? Are you? Close with him now, or, or never spoke to him oh, after that. Spoke, yeah. No, spoke way. to him from my whole life leading up to the day he went on the run, and then the day he went was you know gone. My brother was gone. Oh my god, older or younger? Older. I saw him in court. I actually had to go into court, and I had to read what's known <laughs> as a victim impact letter. Once they had him, and so I walked into the. I remember I walked in. I got a brand new fucking Dolce Gabbana suit. <laughs> You gotta really stick it. Oh, dude! I walked good in, doing I had it. a fucking fresh cut. You know what I mean? Got a facial, right? Yeah, looking like, like yeah. Johnny Depp. Out right? <laughs> yeah, I walked into that courtroom, fucking those little saloon doors. I fucking kicked them. <laughs> <laughs> it was a west. It was all the western court. <laughs> <laughs> you had to do a draw behind the place afterwards, <laughs> bro. I just fucking. I walked in there. I walked in there like, uh, like a person that knew, and what I told him when I read the letter. I've never told anybody this before, but what I said in the letter was, you, you can steal anything you want from me, and you, and you did. But the thing that you really want that you'll never have is what's in here. Uh, I said, you could never take that. You're right. and he, I looked at him, dude, when you wanna talk about looking into the eyes of a fucking shark, like if shar a shark was just sitting in court with you, <laughs> that's what it was like. I didn't, he, my brother wasn't there. Whoever he really is was like, it was fucking, it was maniacal, man. It was weird. Wow. Yeah. Do you think, would you ever consider, based on any type of reform? Moving back in with him and sharing yeah, an apartment? Yeah, would you guys, sure. move, would you guys <laughs> move back to, to let, Lowell, let it, Mass, him, or wherever the fuck? <laughs> Whatever the fuck. Only the fact months. that you said fucking Lowell Mass, like someone says they're from Lowell Mass, is why I like you, Mike. From fucking Lowell Mass. Shout out, dude. I'm from Lowell Mass. <laughs> you want to fight me on a fucking burning couch? Let's go. Uh, uh, it, what, what was your question? What I, I do? You want to go to Cape Cod with them? Is what I'm asking. Do you want to go to Brewster? I'll, 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 t I'll tell you uh, again. I'm breaking a lot of info here. You're going to get a lot of you know moments that nobody's heard me talk about. I just got financing on a documentary. I'm doing a documentary about it. I'm going to tell the story. So if he wants to at some point sit, and we can sit for the first time, really ever, like it would be the first time I'm really meeting him then maybe we can sit down for this doc, but we start filming this uh, at the end of the summer. And it's gonna be the funniest tragedy that you've ever seen. 
That's fucking awesome. Yeah, I love that. Hard. I love that reconciliation. I hope that he does it. Yeah. And yeah. I know the conversation is going to be hard, but I will say, as someone who uh, does put a lot of their life uh, forward facing for people to yeah. see, it is incredibly therapeutic and can be incredibly healing. And it sure. is a, is it, it is a chance to acknowledge your wrongs and start fresh. Right. And, and, and it's going to be hard for him too. I'm sure he's incredibly well, embarrassed. Be way I'm sure. Harder he, for I'm him, sure yeah. I, yeah, I'm sure it feels horrible, but like you're going to live out the rest of your life like that or for once in all, for final take accountability, yeah. right? And then do make something great out of it. That, make it make a great piece of media. That would be I would love that, man. Like you putting that out like honestly, if that could happen to me, that would be cuz it's a it's also a fascinating conversation and it speaks to there was a lot of growing I needed to do in my life, whatever, I can't speak for him, but like the reality is if 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 you're ever judged by one moment in your life, nobody would want that. Nobody wants that oh, tag on them. Uh, yeah, we we all would be everybody. Mm, mm. We all want the opportunity, but when you're in the whatever the public eye or whatever people want to like put the moniker on, you, you know your fuck up sometimes is something that speaks to a, a per, someone's own failure, and they'll project that on you for the rest of your life, determined by how they feel about themselves. Is really why people do that and lash out. I think about this stuff a lot too because <clears throat> there's a lot of people that have like uh, people watching the show. Every most families have like inner family beefs. Oh, he did something to me 15 years ago. Right. He, you know, like right. he was who ate my ice cream. Yeah, where's yeah, yeah. my 15 yeah. million dollars? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just run of the mill <laughs> Tuesday night shit. <laughs> but it just always <laughs> it always just makes me wonder though. Like, is there anything that's beyond? Cause, dude, you only get one family, right? And it's like, it's like. I don't know if I if I subscribe to that. You got two families. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you have your listen. You have you have the family of people that you know. I have people that I've met in my life, right. that Are that are that are like road dogs and people that are like feel like they're they're in my bloodline. You know what I mean? What's so, that yeah. saying again? It's like fa family is thicker than. No, that's well, that's the main one. But then there's one that's like family is like who you make, not who your home is where you make it. Yeah, that's it. The sweet home <laughs> Alabama. I'm sorry about that. I, it was, I think it was all that. It was impulsive. I don't know. I, don't I know. followed it.